Hello and welcome back to The Notes. Back in New York this week after a week in Lima. And most of the trends that were going on while I was away continued today. We saw a very strong performance, particularly in Chinese stock markets, but also elsewhere in emerging markets. And that was driven by the ongoing recovery in industrial metals and in emerging markets foreign exchange, obviously very closely linked to each other. The problem is, as you can see if you take a look at this chart, while those rebounds are very genuine uh, and very significant uh, in the last week, they've lost some people a lot of money, made some other people a lot of money, it's still nothing like a clear reversal of the trend. Both, in both cases, they had been very aggressively sold down for a long time. It's not clear yet that this is anything more than a dead cat bounce from an oversold position. Now, moving on to uh, here in the US, it's been a relatively quiet day thanks to the Columbus Day bank holiday. The uh, bond market has been closed. But in the stock market, uh, we can show you here in this, this next chart, there's been a very slight uh, retreat from the uh, trend of the last week or so, which has been for the laggards to rebound very dramatically at the expense of the prior winners. This has been one of the most aggressive reversals for price momentum in many years. It will have hurt a lot of hedge funds who follow a momentum strategy or pleased a lot of people who, uh, who are investing on a value basis. As you can see, uh, materials stocks heavily bombed out, dramatically outperformed healthcare stocks, which arguably had become a crowded trade over the last week. Now, can we determine whether this is a true turning point or just a dead cat bounce? In the longer term, that will depend on the news from China, whether the slowdown is uh, managed, whether this is some kind of a soft landing or whether it's something much worse than that. We have to wait to find out on that one. In the shorter term, it will depend on US companies' earnings. They're going to start telling us about their third quarter this week.